Hello, good evening ladies and gentlemen. Um, just popping in while I'm having a cup of tea. Um, I've been sort of tremendously busy. I had a two week break. I said I'd come back to uh, show you um, what I did with um, old CDs, you know, that you can get through the paper or, you know, they've been recorded on. Some of them have got sort of different colours and what have you. I'll put that over here for the minute. <coughs> And I have been playing around with alcohol inks. I'll put my tea out of the way here somewhere. And as you see, um, some of these discs, uh, old uh, pre-recorded discs, can, can, can tr crumble when you're when you're cutting them. So you've got to find yourself a really good pair of scissors and really sort of take a straight cut at them or they just tend to crumble and what I also would say here I mean th there might be another way of cutting them I've been using just ordinary scissors um, there's another piece I tried to colour um, I think that looks quite nice I think we should experiment with these because there are lots and lots around and before you know it they'll be out of fashion and we'll be doing things with them that um, we're doing with the old uh, 75s or the 45s the, the um, vinyl records um, <clears throat> so yeah that was the effect I got with the, the, the um, alcohol inks okay and uh, really at the moment what I'm trying to do is finish this little thing it has um, it's hang it can hang on the wall um, and I've painted it I have put a little sort of a, a, sp a speckled sort of uh, effect on it I don't know if you can see it here um, in pink and, and white and uh, I used CDs to do the leaves um, I'll just see <coughs> because I've got to make some more at the moment and I want to see if I can cut up and without it actually crumbling because some of them work and some of them don't I find it's always better just to try and cut them in half being very sort of precise with it the old pair of scissors you're not too you see of course if you bend slightly they do tend to sort of like mark I think it's always better to try and part them um, so you've got two pieces and you can draw on them um, and just decide what you're going to do I need some more leaves so I'm going to be trying to do this and I think that you know it can be quite difficult, it can be quite hard on your hands, so if somebody's got a better way of cutting them, all the better. I find that some CDs cut, and they cut no problem at all, and others have little sort of like funny little edges on them, and uh, little splits. So you can cut up a few and find that you're only left with just a few that are actually workable. As far as I'm concerned, that's not too good. So I just keep going because it's finding, see that one's split now, so I might have to cut that down. I've got to find at least a couple that I can actually work with. I hope you see what I'm doing here. I'm sort of uh, I'm quite patient. <laughs> Sometimes even my patience is tried using these uh, CDs, and so it's almost like it's go through the CDs. You know that you're going to be getting rid of some, and and just test them. Find a pair of scissors that will cut them. Um, I did try these ones, which were the scissors that I uh, bought in the in the 70s, and they'll cut anything. Um, but again, it has the same effect on some of the video uh, CDs. Okay, so of course it, then it can leave a bit of a mess, as you can see. So I just cut out some shapes that I can. Mm. All right, so you're left with sort of basic leaf shape. I'll put that in the bin. Uh, see if I can get another one. See if the other one works even works better. It's an old music one. I'm not holding up much hope, but we'll still see. See some of them, as you see, work, and some of them don't. And of course, there's lots of things that you can actually do with them. 
these CDs you can cut them into squares mirror tiles or like me you're doing your leaves ah, see I find it's better to come at it at an angle yeah making a horrid noise <laughs> sorry I don't know if she's do that, ah, that's a little bit better. See if that's not so, got more of a, a clean line around the edge. So sometimes you get the splits that come through and they crack and then it can actually be quite frustrating. So again, it's to come at an angle. Just be decisive, cut what you can. Okay, I'm just be left with a few nice, and I'm only doing the basic leaf shape here. Let's see if I can get a few more out of it. Okay. Husband's got his music on. <laughs> the office. Okay. I'm only just doing this to sort of give you a rough idea what I do with these old CDs. So I'm going to get, check them through, see what I can use, throw out what I don't use. And I think I'll work with these ones at the moment. I've got three there. Let's get my cloth. Let's wipe it down. This is an actual, this goes on the bottom of an oven. <laughs> it works quite well because it leaves my handprints all over it. Okay. What I also do um, is to hold it over a bin and um, sand the edges. I'm going to put the goodies right there they are. Just, just give them a little sort of trim. You know, um, don't have to be too fussy. I tend to hold this over the bin um, in here to do this. Okay. Okay. There's another one. Just a little. I just be very careful <coughs> when you're working with these. You know, I wear glasses anyway. But if you don't, I'd wear something to protect your eyes because uh, sometimes you get pieces of this flying around all over the place and you don't want a sharp piece in your eye so you be very careful okay so when you've got the sort of basic shape of a, a leaf I'll just clean them up later now uh, some work with hot glue some do not um right here without me clearing up I don't want those bits caught up in my work quickly right okay as you can see what I'm doing here with the CDs I've, I've made the leaves and I've used some sort of like uh, crochet cord to uh, using glossy accents to to glue that down I may have time to be able to show you what uh, I do in the meantime Just my making it right mess here <laughs> okay all right so this going around this way so I'd like to glue um, and I'm going to use glossy accents just to sort of be quick here because I do know that it dries quite quickly and it's um I can maneuver it so I put a little bit on I know it's a waste because this stuff is quite expensive and I figure out what I'm doing here so I'm going to put a, a piece here and move it around so it sticks it tends to stick quite quickly and I quite like it for that and I shall put another piece try and 
try and work out wherever that's going to go. Don't get too fussy. Okay. But I have used hot glue with this in the past, but sometimes I find that uh, the backing which sometimes you need on it will come off and it'll fall off so you have to go and use another kind of glue and I find this is just about right I'm sure there's other glues you can use but this is probably an expensive way of doing it but um, alright let's see where we want that one yeah and I just tend to see look at that it really gets um, glued quite quickly there um, and as you see what I've been doing here I mean you can do all sorts with this I mean I've been experimenting with cutting it in in triangles and squares um, in other words I think it's it's good not to be afraid to try and experiment with things you soon find out what what CDs you can use and, and what you can't some of them just literally <coughs> crumble and some of them cut quite well <coughs> I'll probably get a lot of um, smaller leaves if I'm you know careful out of that okay so blow some of that away okay and what then I did um, because I'm wanting to do some, a little bit of um, white perhaps on this side I go round I'm hoping you're seeing this I go round the outside with or the edges of the leaves with something I'm sure somebody will come up with a really good idea for this but it's, it is fun playing I must admit great fun playing And you do get lots of glue on your hands at this rate, you know. And of course, if it does get on your um, CD, just wipe it off quick and come back later and do it with a sort of screen cleaner that'll cut, take it off. Alright, so what I do, I'm going to use white cord this time, some white cord. Excuse the uh, <coughs> police um, making their, their noises. They live on quite a busy road here. Uh, it's not that, it's the huskies. There, they're going to start singing now. Can you hear them? <coughs> the huskies are singing! Tra la la la! And they always sing when they hear a police um, siren. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Right, so I tend to sort of, let me see what I'm doing here. I'll glue some sort of edging on it, um, around the edges. And it sort of frames them and perhaps gets rid of this sort of ugly bits, unless of course you want to really, you know, um, where's my tweezers? I tend to sh use a pair of tweezers to help me with this. And I'll just cut it off. <coughs> it's alright, you can stop singing now. And stop howling. I know we had a full moon the other night, but uh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Let the huskies sing. Okay. And sometimes it does, you know, you've got to be a little bit patient. Sometimes it takes a bit of time to dry it off. So we use something to remove that off the um, CD. Any glue that you get on there, you use like a screen cleaner or... A okay, so I tend to then go around all of them. Using a length of string. Um, what was the other thing I used? Oh, okay. Is this lovely crochet thread? No, it's a waste, but you know, it's wonderful. Um, and I put it all around the edges of the of the um, CDs, like I've done with the white stuff there. And um, yeah, 
I'm wondering if that, that cord is actually going to work out when I do the um, swirls swirls of, of stuff using again glossy accents. I'm going to give this a good sweep before I give it a um, where does all the dust come from these days? Okay. I'm going to try, I'm hoping you see what I'm doing here. I'm just going to try and do another one. Sometimes it's good to just wait for a bit. Try not to rush it. Where's my old tweezers? Honestly, it would frustrate some people doing this, but you can be quiet now, huskies. I didn't even think I'm nuts talking to dogs. <laughs> These are old tweezers I tend to use for anything like this. Anything that might be frustrating where it can stick, stick to your fingers and goodness knows what. And sometimes it's worth waiting <coughs> for the glue just to go off a little bit before you finally manoeuvre it and, and then it starts to work. So, again, I shall bring that up here. Leave an end on that because I might want to do something with that end. Okay. Push that in again. Yeah, it seems to work much better when it's gone off a little bit. Okay. So. Why is it so noisy in town tonight? Okay. My fella starts his drumming. I think that's just going to make things complete. <laughs> hair and my head's not in the way here. Okay. Just gonna go and shut the door to my workroom. I think the drumming started, <laughs> hold on. No, he won't have heard me, he's got his probably his earphones on or something. Um, right, so we bring, I know this may be a laborious process, but I'm trying to perfect it because uh, I like to try anything different if I can. And um, Sometimes it's good just to try and do it so very quietly. Okay, now I'm going to put that piece. So you see, this is sort of uh, see what I did there. Right, and what I like about CDs is that not only can they be, although they're not sort of correct mirror image, they reflect the light. And if you're using a mirror here, it's always a very good idea. This is an old IKEA mirror. Um, it's on wood that I picked up from. Um, I think it was a car boot sale actually a little while ago, and it's just been in my stash, collected things to work on, and. Uh, I just gave it a little bit of sponging, uh, some texture, and it's it's dry. And I've had it, some um, lace around the edges, 
I've used some of these foam roses and you know I actually take the roses apart and I can get two to three roses out of one big rose uh, if I wanted to which I have done in a couple of places here and then I've used some small um, white paper roses because I wanted to do sort of a pink and white thing here and really when you do something like this and of course I use the flat back pearls on some of the um, swirls here which denotes perhaps rose hips or whatever and I will clean this up there's a little bit of cleaning up you have to do sometimes when you've been using glue okay so just making sure everything is stuck down and just letting it letting it dry um, I'm going to cut that off just there. Stick that down. Probably do some more. Maybe not some more. No, I don't want to overdo it. You know, there's always this feeling of sometimes you can overdo things and, and, and they don't look as good. And but I think sometimes you have to make things to ascertain where it's going to go and if you're going to sort of... Uh, I think that would be a good place to start. So let's see if this works out. If not, I shall use something else. So what I do, it'll let's see what I do that. I've sort of made a section of glossy accent glue and roughly just made a sort of swirl with it. Let's hope this works. <laughs> And this is where I tend to get glooped up. And it starts to move around to start with. There might be an easy way to do this. If there is, somebody should let me know. Oh, it's moving. Hold on. Let's spread that glue out a bit. Stay in place, please. I'll have to do for now. Ah, right, okay. I think I'm going to add a, I don't know, flat back pearl or something while it's still Where's me pearls? Where are they now? Right in front of my eyes, how about that then? That's a good one <laughs> right, I'll pop that around because it will tend to sort of sit better and while there's plenty of glue around it ah. you mess it up just like that no okay right, so um a little brush of some kind sometimes it's good just to sort of like even out the so it doesn't dry in a too much of a heap there <laughs> all right that's that's uh, what I've been doing um see if I can stick something here that sort of um, makes it look like I'm on the way because I've been away doing stuff I went away for a little while and uh where's my thing here is this put that in here 
Normally I'd use some um, hot glue for these but I'm going to experiment with this one now so to see if I can get the rose to sort of sit and, and glue itself. If not then I shall come back with the hot, hot glue. Alright so I'd like to see if anyone um, you can see the mirror here um, and I shall be putting perhaps uh, just a few little flowers and swirls here and, and then it'll be done. I really don't want to overdo it but um, I hope you enjoyed watching me knock through that one. Um, let's clean this before I put the lid on. And I just love what Fiona's done with the um, Bohemian Crystal um, with her stick pins. And uh, the bag that I made and sent to her, I've been doing a few of them. Um, I got uh, some a lovely tutorial from somebody on YouTube that made them and I will put that up um, in my notes at the end of this one. It, if anyone's seen the video where um, Fiona Jennings 644 was uh, unpacking a few of the goodies I sent her up, bless her heart, um, and there was the bag there which is sort of like I use, often use now as sort of makeup, dressing table makeup bags, um, <coughs> and I got that uh, recipe as it were, or how to make it from a lovely lady on YouTube and I will put a link up to that if, if you didn't hear me say that before. So. Um, okay, God bless. Um, I hope this was uh, informative. I'm going to clear up a little bit now and see if I can finish this and um, and finish my cup of tea before it gets too cold. Maybe go and remonstrate with my husband for starting the drumming. <laughs> and I hope you enjoyed the huskies that were singing as well. God bless. Bye-bye.